Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I felt like oh, when no. I did that. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Kayla. I'm Nancy. And we are Stampy Before Anything Else, aka Stampy Bait, a mother-daughter team that likes to laugh and craft. We're happy that you're here today because we are going to be making a really cute project. And in these video tutorials, you always want to say hi to Bob. Say hi to Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, in these video tutorials, we're always hoping to bring some joy, laughter, um, and whatnot to your creativity. And so we do that through our videos like this one and our Monday videos, which mm -hmm. are a little bit more shorter and to the point. So if you like those kind of videos, highly recommend watching those. But here, mm -hmm. we like to have fun in these ones. We kind of do. So we chat a little bit, banter back and forth because that's what mother daughters do. Oh, well, that's what we do anyhow. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna be making this cute little taco box and guess what's on the inside if I can open it. You know, what is it? Are you gonna guess? Put it in the comments, what do you think it is? Look at mom, <laughs> she's like, oh God, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Just here for the ride. It's a taco! It's a taco! <laughs> There's a taco in the taco box. Imagine that. Imagine so that. So we made, well, Mom made a really cute box using the the uh, Taco Fiesta stamp set, which is going to be retiring here soon. Super sad. It's Erica Sirwin's million dollar um, stamp set, and I have not created enough with it. It's been out for a year, and I don't know how long I've had that little gummy, it's a gummy. It's a gummy taco. Taco. I've had it for so long that... I'm like, oh, I gotta remember to make a box. I gotta remember. And now she has. Now, now that it's retiring. I have to because it's retiring. <laughs> so let's head down to the table and show you how to make this. Okay, so we're gonna tell you the measurements um, as we go along. But what I did is I took, now we are using some of the new in colors, you guys. Actually, well, I, I think it's one. One in two. However, let me just show you that this is what I started off with. Oh. These are the new in colors. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I didn't like the coloring of it, so I switched it up and made it so it would match a little bit better, mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so um, measurements. We have a six by nine piece. And on the six inch side here, you're going to score at one inch and five inch. On the long side, you're going to score at one inch, two inch, five inch, six inch, okay? Okay. That's the base. Then you're gonna need some scrap pieces where you're gonna cut out and poppy parade our basic white circle. And then the designer series paper here that we're using, it was over here, where did it go? Oh. Uh, I was <laughs> like, it's right under it's you It's right here. <laughs> I tell okay. you. <laughs> anyway, so here we have it. This is the new in color designer series paper that you can get in the new annual catalog. So, um, so pretty. It's beautiful. So, we're going to be using the Shy Shamrock color. I think it is so pretty. It is really pretty. And I'm using this design here on the other side is the leaves, but I thought it worked perfect with this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to do a little bit of stamping. Now the colors that you're gonna need, I haven't pulled those out yet, you're gonna need Poppy, you're gonna need the Shy Shamrock, and we're gonna need our Memento. And if you wanna substitute colors, you can. Absolutely. We're actually gonna show people in our VIP group mm -hmm. how to make this using supplies that they already have. So yes. we'll talk a little bit more about the VIP stuff. At Absolutely. The end. So this is the sets that I used, the Taco Fiesta stamp set, and then we're using the stylish shapes for our die cut pieces over here. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of coloring um, with our dark poppy, our, I believe, yep, light granny, and our light and dark um, daffodil. Daffodil delight. Daffodil. She only daffodil. said the first part of the word. So daffodil delight. Granny Apple Green Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade, and I just said Poppy. <laughs> all right, so all we're going to do is we're just going to stamp up our little, um, oh, goodness. I just, what the heck are these called? A pinata. Thank you. I'm like, <laughs> it just went right out the window. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate when that happens. Okay, so we're going to stamp our little pinata over here, who is super adorable. And I actually did forget to pull out the hat. Can you grab the little oh, hat? Oh, little, yeah, a little sombrero. Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna do two of the tacos. 
Here's a little sombrero. Thank you. For your pinata. He's so cute. Here, do you want a little tiny stamp yes. block for your little tiny? Yes, and I heard, tiny? you guys, the A-size blocks are gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. There we so, go. So, um, I'm just going to stamp this little guy over here on the side. We got that and this. Okay, and then we're going to need a piece for our poppy parade. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that and get that going. So, so, so mom's a really squishy stamper. I totally am. She is really good at pushing the... <laughs> the stamp into the ink i really am to the point where she gets ink everywhere so i totally just do gently tap your your stamp into the ink yeah but i to give myself a little bit of credit is sometimes our pads are dry so i that, don't that know sounds like a user. yeah so that's why when i go i sometimes they're dry and then that's my indication that i'm pushing too hard i need to add ink and just to be clear they're not dry because of stamping up they're dry because we don't put ink in them yes exactly <laughs> exactly all right so now that we have those done i'm going to start coloring Okay, so Kayla, you, you want to start coloring the horse? Oh, I get to color too. You do. So I'm going to start. It's not a horse, it's a pinata. A pinata, but he's he's like a little. A little horse oh, no, he's a llama. A llama. A llama? Okay. Alabama llama. Alabama llama. Okay, mm -hmm. so you guys, I'm going brave. I'm using the brush tip. I never use the brush tip. I was behind a car today so andy got his permit <gasps> yay finally he's 18 you guys so he was driving me home mm -hmm. and it was terrifying but <laughs> <laughs> uh, i was behind a car or we were behind a car and it said mama llama llc mama llama llc so now i, I wonder, gotta look it up i wonder if it's an actual llc and if it is, what is it? What is it? Um, otherwise, it's just a funny little decal. Cute. Mama. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so we're doing coloring our tacos in all the daffodil. Uh, the light daffodil, excuse me. Dill. 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 Dill pickle. I'm going to come in and I'm going to color a little bit on the edges here with the dark. Question. Mm -hmm. Is that yellow? What one, what's that? It's like orangey. Yeah, I is might have the used light the lemon. The dark? Yeah, this is the light. Oh, did I not pull those? Oh, hold on. One I was moment. Like, there's an orange missing here, I the feel like. The orange, I think. And the is. shy shamrock is gone. Where are they? Here. You guys. What the? What the? What? Would it be a stampin' video if you didn't lose something? No kidding. Yeah. We're going to have retired Call Me Clover. Where did I put them? Shaded spruce. Oh, I bet you they're over here. What do you think? I don't know. Ooh, wow, that is a strong marker. Here they are. Whatever marker you were using. Here's the new ones. Okay. Sorry, my bad. So is that peach? The peach, pie? yes. Yes, and okay. I think the yellow is this. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I blame you. It's okay. Yeah, it's all my fault. I tried to be prepared, but you know, it's me. And you know, stuff gets lost and you know, just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going on the edges here, you guys, with our yellow, the dark daffodil. Now you could use your lemon lolly and go over it a couple times if you wish. Completely up to you. If you do so wish. Yes. Oh, I, wow, I love this shy shamrock. Isn't it pretty? I love it, you guys. My eyes just want to stare at it. It's it's a pretty green. I think this is probably, I'm not much of a green person. I mean, I think greens are pretty, um, but I think this is going to probably, um, Call Me Clover used to be my favorite green, but I think this is, Shy Shamrock is going to be my favorite yeah. green, to be honest. Okay. Because it's kind of like a, it's not a full true green. It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's more blue hue-ish? Yeah. Blue hue-ish? <laughs> Is that a word? Yeah, I think you're right on that. Yeah. I think it's super pretty. Okay, so now I'm just coming in and coloring our lettuce. Oh, no, I'm going to sneeze. Lettuce eat lettuce. 
Oh, goodness. Bless you. Oh, excuse Bless me. Bless you. There's so many lights on in here. Sometimes it's just so bright that you, you can't take it. Does anybody else do that? I, I don't sneeze like that. My grandma used to be able to sneeze like that. But and I stare at the sun and sneeze? Yeah, no. Yep, I am one of those people. That's funny. Me, it just gets hot in here with the lights. It's getting hot in here. Okay, so we are almost done coloring. I'm done. You're slow. Huh, well, I had to go hunting. Mm -hmm. I had two whole tacos to cut out. Yeah, I had a sombrero and a pinata, okay? Mm, poor <laughs> thing. Okay. So, we got one scissor. Let me go find another oh, scissor. Oh, we're fussy cutting? Yes, we are. Okay. So, what mom did with this when she cut it out is that she cut it out really close. Normally, when we cut, we leave a little bit of a bubble around the images, but we're not doing that. Today. Yeah, and I think we, we did leave a tiny bubble around the teeny, tiny. piñata, but for the tacos, I kind of, I didn't really want the white to show through, so I just cut right outside the dark line. Okay, so I am an aggressive scissor holder. <laughs> an aggressive scissor holder. <laughs> I'm an aggressive scissor holder. Let me show you my fingers when I'm done cutting this because my fingers get like raw. Do they really? Yeah, like I get little imprints oh, on my sorry. fingers Seriously? for how, how tightly. Did you have a traumatic childhood I when did. you were doing your crafts on arts? I or did. What? Hermetic experience. People are trying to steal the scissors <gasps> away from me. Oh, darn kids. I have no idea. I just feel like I have more control when I can. When yeah, look at this more... already. You see that? Let me see. I don't see. Right here. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. And then same right here. I got a mark on me. <laughs> Holy, you're kidding. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any. I, I'm an aggressive scissor holder. Wow. She doesn't want that scissor to go anywhere, I guess, huh? No. I don't know why, and I have tried so many times to learn how to use a scissor differently, but I can't. It just, it's not possible for hmm. me. You even tried holding scissors like I do, and it didn't work. Yeah, because she holds it with her pointer finger. I use it with my middle finger. Yeah, I... I don't know. You weirdo. I am weird because, you know, I before I started kindergarten, I thought the alphabet started with the letter B. <laughs> To my a. fun surprise, I was shocked. There was a letter A. <laughs> a? And I went home, and I'm sure my mom was like, yeah. <laughs> did you know there was a letter? Did you know <laughs> that the alphabet, there is no reason for why the alphabet is the way that it is? They just seriously? And it doesn't need to be in alphabetical order. Like, that's just, like, a thing. Like, it was a way for us to memorize all the letters. But there's really, truly no reason why it needs to be the way it well, is. Wouldn't that be the way with any letters? Any any language? Yeah. So not just the American English alphabet. Yeah, just but there's any... just no reason. Hmm. I mean, technically, like, why the letters are the way that they are. Like, there's just... Who did it? I have no idea. I don't know that that fun fact for you. Hmm, darn it. I'll have you to always, come back to you. I'm like, you always have these fun facts for us on Thursday nights. I love fun facts. They're like me as a person. That's what um, even my boss said that the other day at work. He's like, you're just filled with fun facts. I'm like, I am. <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know? And she does that to us, honestly, at home here. Fun fact. <laughs> Do you know why <laughs> otters hold hands at night when they're sleeping? So they don't float away? So they don't float away from each other. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, speaking of cute. Hold on. One moment. Look. Oh. It's the baby. It's the little baby. Say hi. Hi, Ollie. Mwah. Ollie is now four, five months old. Yep. He'll be going in to get neutered soon. Five months and two days. He's a big boy. He is a big boy. Look at him. And look at how long this tail is. It's <laughs> long. He's gotten to be so big. <laughs> I just, I wish they would stay in that little itty bitty phase. Oh, itty bitty. Where there's just a ball of fuzz. I know. Wouldn't that be And fun? all the baby hairs. Okay, you do you. I'm going to continue to cut this little sombrero out. Okay, sounds good. All right, so guys, now. You can do your stamping now, or you can do it later, whatever you wish. Um, I'm probably going to try it now. Uh, what I did the initial time is I 
um, when I cut everything up and then I then I stamped so I could see which way the box was going to go. But if you pay attention, the two ends here where we get the one inch pieces, that's going to be the top of the box that folds over. So the one that doesn't have it is going to be Hold the front. Finger update. Look oh, at that. Holy moly. And that. <laughs> You're cutting off the blood pressure yeah, to your fingers practically. It's aggressive. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. So this is going to be the front. This is gonna fold up like this. So we'll do our stamping first. And actually, I forgot um, we were gonna stamp on our glass mat. Uh, it's right here. Yeah, I forgot. It's like there, right uh, there. Yeah, maybe we better get that out. No, no. Nope. use the paper. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take our chips and we're gonna take and stamp them willy-nilly wherever you want the all over the front tortilla chips or tortillas <laughs> i knew you were gonna say that <laughs> the tortillas they're tortillas uh, guys tortillas so just stamp wherever you want um as many or as little um the front panels here are gonna tuck around on the side so you're gonna want to make sure that you do a little bit of stamping on those as well so i'm gonna put some little uh I was gonna call them nachos. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of mean they are yeah, used they to nachos. Are. And being that this isn't, uh, it doesn't matter if it's upside down, left side, right side, whatever. The image, um, if you had an image that was top right, you'd be more concerned about how your paper is. Yeah. So I'm just gonna continue. Um, this is the back side. No one's gonna see it. So I mean. If they go like this, they will. Yeah, they will. But, it, you know, I mean, they're not going to be like, oh, my God, that chip's upside down. No. So, okay. And. Okay, you got to put one. Where? There? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. there Is that you better? Go. Yeah. You feel better about yourself? Yeah, I feel way better. Okay, good deal. Actually, I would have gone up more, but it's okay. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Who's got OCD? I think I do, honestly. <laughs> I'll let you clean that off. I think it's right over there. All right, guys. So now that we have that done and stamped, we can go ahead and we're going to burnish with our bone folders. What does burnish mean? Burnish means we're going to give this a really good crisp edge because we want nice, sharp corners when we're building, especially when we're building 3D items like this, boxes and um, bags, whatever. Bags. 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 Bag. <laughs> I, uh, that was bag. an evil laugh. <laughs> that was. That was a really evil laugh. See what I have to deal with, people? She is so mean to me. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Okay, so now we are ready to cut. And I, you know, you can use your snips. I like my big ones. These are my favorite. In fact, I think we have we have these in our favorite things. We have a lot. Yeah, we have them listed on our favorite things on our website. So if you go to stampingbay.com, you hover over, I think, shop, and it will say our favorite things. And you click on that, you can see all of our favorite things from Amazon. When you do shop on there, it is an affiliate link, so we get a little kickback from it. So just giving you that preface, but we really, really do love uh, these I, scissors. They're so amazing. They are amazing. I love them. Okay, so I just cut straight up these all these little tabs. We're gonna cut this top one off completely on the corner, and then I'm gonna burnish this edge right here. Miter. Er, miter, thank you. I'm her autocorrect. Yes, you are. That's autocorrect on the phones, yes. <laughs> I definitely need her in my life because, you know, half of the stuff that comes out of my mouth, I don't realize what I'm saying. So it's I know a lot, of you, a lot of you can relate. So we're gonna miter. Oh, shaky. Wow. I don't know what There's that was. There's a little spasm there. <laughs> okay, so now for these tabs here, I'm just going to miter again. Okay, craft straight. Oh, gosh, I'm doing it. <laughs> you know I'm going to be back over here. <laughs> she puts her weight on her right foot. Let me tell you. Okay, and then we're going to snip just a tiny bit off that. So we got just a cutesy little thing right there going in the, going inside the box because... Um, there is plastic around my little jelly thing. Normally these will slide right in on the sides, but because of how this is, they kind of just tuck in. And I tried making it. Oh. <laughs> you can I tried it right there. Yeah, well, they, they, okay, fine. 
Um, so because I have this plastic right here, they're not sliding in very nicely for me, which is perfectly fine. Basically, it's a stabilizer to um, keep this tucked in and to give it a nice finish on the outside of the box. I don't know if I mitered that enough. I did not. Um, so anyway, it keeps it help tucked in. If I didn't have these on there, this would kind of flap over a little bit and yeah. It doesn't look as good. Yeah, it doesn't. So. Hey, my shirt matches the box. It does. I'm green. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. And we're not matching today. Thank God. I cannot believe it. That has got to be a first in a very long time. Okay, guys. That is it. We are ready to assemble our box. Now, what I like to use is the Tombow Green Glue. Yep. The mono adhesive glue. Some update. Still Holy working moly. on that. Oh, I'm <laughs> telling you. These two little tiny tabs are going to be glued to the back piece. We're going to put them on the inside. I just feel like we have a lot of stability when you do this. I don't know. I have, I have no problem doing it. Can I cut this? Yes, you can. Okay. But you got to cut it straight. You want to use this? Big, well, then I can't use the tiny scissors. Well, I think you made your point with your tiny scissors. I wanted to use the tiny scissors. Oh, then use that tiny scissors. Oh, can't now. Can't so you, now. You already ruined it. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just gluing these tabs like this. Okay, and then we're going to take and put some glue on these front panels that are going to tuck back. What happens if I don't cut straight? That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Are you going to whoop me? Nope. I don't believe you. Uh, she abuses me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure everybody believes that. Okay, here we go. We're going to just glue this closed like that, making sure all the edges line up. Kind of hold that a little bit. Let it dry. And then we're going to go to the other side and do exactly the same thing. Like that. Now, what I like to do is I like to take my bone folder and just give it a good press in here because sometimes if you go really heavy with the glue, you can get um, bumps and we don't want bumps. We don't like bumps. Okay, and there we have it, you guys, look at that. So now I'm gonna steal this taco because I only got one taco and put it in here and then we're gonna close it like so. Okay. Okay. All right. Now what? Now we are going to take this red triangle and we're going to glue it to the front of the box. Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that you're not going past the bottom edge. Otherwise, it's going to look funny. You can go over the top. <laughs> Can't go over the bottom. Otherwise, it's not going to sit down on the counter, on the table. Exactly. You'll have some issues with that. So I just glued that down. Okay. okay. Hold, please. Next, I believe, did I glue this piece down too? I did. No dimensionals? Oh yeah, we're gonna get there. Don't worry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so I like them going this way. You can turn it that way if you want, but I liked it going up and down. So I'm just gonna lay that on top as well. Oh, oh, oh. Did you eat today? I did not. That's Am I shaky? shaky. Well, yeah, do you not remember this is going wah, 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 Oh, yeah, I don't know what that was. It was just had a mind of its own. Okay. Oh, gosh, now I'm going to start sneezing. Oh, no. <sighs> it's dry air, guys, dry air. So you're putting a little glue on yeah. the pinata's head. The pinata's head. And then we're going to put the little sombrero. Oops. 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 Oh, no, that's a lot of glue. It is. We're going to let that, uh, yeah. Here, I got You it. do that. I got it. Okay, so for the first taco, I went ahead and I glued the first one down onto my circle. Oops. Okay, like so. Glue that little bugger down. And then I am going to get my dimensionals. I can find my dimensionals. Yeah, good luck. Do, 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 do. You guys, we just got a whole bunch of new product in. Yeah. And, if um, you haven't watched that video, go check it out. We posted it yesterday. We were live streaming all the new things we yes, got. Yes, yes. So go check it out. 
So we got some dimensionals. I'm gonna pop on this little cutie patootie. I think I'll put one more right here just because I can. And I'm gonna flip this over while I'm at it because we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals as well. Are you guys counting dimensionals? Cause I was not. I, <laughs> I have no idea how many she used on that. I'm like, we're missing Brene. Brene was our official, unofficial. Official, unofficial. Or official, unofficial. Dimensional, <laughs> Dimensional counter. counter. The OG. Oh my goodness, that's funny. All right, so I'm gonna take these off. Cause you know, I just clipped my nails. All right, we're gonna pop that right on the middle like that. Then we're gonna come in with our little cutie patootie right here. Is that, is that his name? Cutie patootie. Cutie. Sounds good to me. To me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was, you guys. I have no clue. <laughs> what the heck? I have no clue. Oh, oh, you know what I did? Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot the twine, you guys. Uh, the twine goes underneath the circle. Don't mess up like her. Oh, don't pull a Nancy. Oh my goodness sakes. Or if you don't like twine like me, you can just okay, leave it well, out. Or if you don't like it. I really do not like twine. That's so funny. I think it just adds so much. It was I, funny when we were at in Houston, we were doing a game where they put a sticker oh, on our backs and you had to guess what Stampin' Up! product you were. That was fun. And I got linen thread. Yep. And she <laughs> was hitting everything else and she was almost one of the last people. And, and I said, can I just give her a hint? Because I know exactly. Well, the, it was, I asked what, who, uh, if I was a tool and somebody said, yes, kind of. And I was like, what? So I was trying to think like. Yeah, no, it's not a tool. I was tool. like, that's an embellishment. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, but yeah, I said, can I give her a hint? Because I know she'll get it if, if I give her a hint. Yeah. And I said, what is the one thing you hate? <laughs> and she got I, it. I, no, I said, oh, I said uh, trim. And you're like, close. And I was like, linen thread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just don't know what it is. I think it's just so tiny that I just don't like working with it. I have no idea. Yeah, that's funny because I don't mind working with it at all, which is crazy. Sure. All right. So for this one, I am going to, let me see where I'm going to put this. Long time no taco. So I think I, did I put dimensionals on this? Mm -hmm. I did put a couple little ones. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do. I would say just glue it on the right hand I side. I think that's all I'm going to do on this side just because I don't know what I did on this one. This one I put some dimensionals on that. Look at that puppy. All right. Oh, sorry. So I am actually on this one just going to put a little bit of glue over here. Long nine no, long oh. nine? Ooh. Long nine no knocko. Yang yang no not no? Okay. No, not go. <laughs> oh, see, you got to add the linen thread in there. It just makes it so cute, you guys. Oh, it does. It adds so much. Okay, so uh, before I forget, I don't want to, you know, we're using our 24, 26 in color resin dots. Of course, it's going to be in all five colors. And she's going to use the Shy Shamrock. I am, if I can find my take your pick tool. Oh, Lord. Just use scissors. Goodness. What's going on? Goodness me, oh my. It's like you weren't meant to craft today. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I'm out of frame. I keep being out of frame. Hi, guys. Yeah, you're out of frame because I'm supposed to no, be crafting I, that way. I moved the camera. Oh, God. I did. Way up there. Oh, well, because. Where are you going? I don't know. It you just... have a little area that you're supposed to stick to. Yeah, but this looks like my big area here. And, yeah. So. <laughs> Oh I don't gosh. know where I'd be without her, you guys. I'd be lost. Is that it? That is it. Yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> I think it is so stinking adorable. So we are not going to have the written measures. Oh my gosh. We're not going to have the written measurements for this project on our vlog because this is going to be exclusive written tutorials for or written measurements for those who participate in our VIP group. And so our VIP group for all of our Thursday videos during the month, you get to learn how to make the projects using supplies that you already have. So, um, and it's all Thursdays and then all the Thursday yep. videos. And then you join us on a live stream exclusively, like yep. just you interacting, get it interact one on one with us. Yeah. Well, one on many, whoever well, two, decides two to on, join. Whatever. Anyway, 
Um, but we you do this to, every month, once get, a month. You get to join us. We do it at the end of the month, every month, all of our Thursday videos for that month. And then we also do VIP prize patrol. So you get some goodies yeah, too. Yeah, we got a lot of fun things planned. Um, yeah. Uh, make sure that you join us. All you have to do is order $50 in Stampin' Up! product and then you're automatically qualified. You get And you can just, order it, you have to order it under us. Yeah, you have to order it with us. Otherwise, we can't tell if you ordered, right? Yeah. So that's how you get in. Um, hope to see you there. If you want to learn more about the VIP experience, you can go to stampingbay.com slash VIP. Read all about it. And then be sold and be like, okay, that sounds like so much fun because it is going to be so much fun. It will be. And what happens if you're already a member of our team and or you become a member of our team? Yeah, if you're already in our team, then you are automatically get all of the access. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. You don't got to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so... Thanks so much for joining us in today's video. Don't forget that we also have a product share going on for all of the new designer series paper and ribbon in mm -hmm. the new mini catalog. Um, so that will be ending. You have to register by the end of the month and then you'll get everything shipped to you in May. We'll cut it up, send it off. It'll be good. Yeah, it's gonna cool. be fun, you guys. Lots of good things coming up. Oh my up. gosh, there's so many, oh, so many cool things. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. We will see you in our <laughs> next video, which is gonna be posting on Monday, I believe, um, in our quick short video. So, okay, bye guys. Take care. Bye.